All right, let's uh, give Space Engineers a quick startup. Taking its time as usual. Taking a bit longer than it should. I'm gonna make you guys experience the full loading time of SE on my PC. So I'm not even gonna edit this out. Just for you. How about that? Editing self if you're bored, go ahead. There we go. Oh, and just to add to it, there's a little intro for us. Yep, lovely little intro. How do I get a uh, copyright claim for this uh, music? But I'm talking over it, so it's fine. Oh, and of course, even more little intro. There, there, there. More pictures and stuff. There we go, now we're in the main menu. Hello everyone, welcome to ET Studios, and uh, today we're having a look at Space Engineers, but we're actually not going to be in-game much. So I'm going to be showing you a little trick that you could probably find out somewhere else, but I felt like making a video about it just because it's nice and short, very easy to do, and I thought that some people could benefit from it. So how do you get rid of skip? or change the intro video for Space Engineers. And it's actually relatively simple. So if we start up the game again, and I won't make you wait the full time this, lot, this time. So once you're in, all you have to do is either press escape or the left mouse button and it will skip it and go straight to the main menu. You may have already figured this out, but that's a very easy way to do it if you do still want the video to be there to show random people, but I don't really see why. The second option, um, I'll show you now. So what you want to do is you want to go to Steam, you want to right click on Space Engineers, click on Properties, click on Local Files, Browse Local Files, and this is your Space Engineers root folder. So, in here, you're going to want to go to content, and then to videos. Now, in here, I've already got a, another little trick um, that I'm going to show you in a second. But if you want to skip that video, all you have to do is either rename this to whatever you want. Um, in, in this case, I've, I would have renamed it to KSH1, but you can change it to whatever you want. But this is literally just that intro video and it goes up to here, yeah, and then goes out. They do, however, have two separate ones hidden somewhere else with that V-Rage and Space Engineers, uh, those logos that come out after it. But all you need to do is rename this or delete it. In this case, I'm just going to cut it and throw it in my videos folder. Um, and now, when we start up Space Engineers, which I could have done from there, but I'm gonna do from here, It goes straight to the VR Agent Space Engineers screen, and then you're in the menu, which is very nice to have because then you don't have to actually bother clicking the left mouse button or whatever. Especially if, um, for whatever reason, you, I don't know, have unplugged your mouse or whatever. So, thought that was a pretty cool trick, and you don't have to bother pressing escape or whatever. Now I'm going to show you something else, which is pretty cool. So what I've done in that folder is I quickly made a project in Premiere and threw in the original KSH video and created another one on top of it with a few bits and pieces I was doing with um, the bullet train um, blueprint or uh, world on the workshop. Really cool, I'll leave a, a link in the description. Um, and I, you have to convert it to um, WMV because that's the file that Space Engineers reads 
I don't think it matters on the time, but I left it at 20 seconds because that's how long it was because I used the original music and everything. Obviously you could change it to whatever you wanted to as long as it's that type of file. So let's open Space Engineers again. I do apologize for this. I did have it activated before, but let's ignore that. And look! Very simple, very easy to do, and I did it just for fun. Um, and this is actually how long that clip was. That's how long they had after the music. But now it goes onto the normal screens that you would see, and then in here. There is one more way you can skip the intro that I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, instead of going and actually physically deleting that file, and that is to go in here and go to properties, then go to set launch options, and just say dash skip intro. Click OK, click close, open space engineers, and that'll go straight to the menu. So that's the only way I know how to do it that skips the two logos as well. So if you want to do that and just go straight into the menu, go for it. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So I hope you found this informative and uh, I, I know you can probably mess around with that little trick um, of adding your own video to it quite a, uh, quite a lot. Perhaps you could trick your friends and actually show the menu like the first 20 seconds of the menu and they don't know what's going on because they can't use their, their PC. Um, just a fun little trick. So I hope you found this video informative and if you did uh, I usually do um, survival episodes and things. I've got a survival series going on right now. Um, I do tech content and stuff like that. So if you do like Space Engineers have a look at the channel and have a look at what I do. So I have a Discord link in the description below if you want to have a look at that and I will see you hopefully in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.